Tired of lag slowing you down and internet delays ruining your game? You've come to the right place. In this video, we'll show you how to optimize your network for faster, smoother gameplay. Whether you're using a high-end PC or a budget one, we'll walk through everything from adjusting your network settings to fine-tuning your connection. Let me know in the comments how you deal with high ping. It could be helpful for others. So let's dive in and get your connection running at its best. Frustrated with lag and high ping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game it will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now let's move into one of the most important parts of network optimization, your internet adapter settings. This step will help you reduce ping, eliminate input delay, and boost overall network responsiveness, especially during online gaming or high-speed tasks. Start by typing View Network Connections in the Windows search bar and opening the Network Connections window. From here, identify your active internet adapter, usually labeled as Ethernet or Wi-Fi. If you see any connections you're not using, right-click and disable them to reduce unnecessary background interference. Then right-click your active connection and select Properties. Inside the Properties menu, scroll down and highlight Internet Protocol version 4, TCP, IPv4, or IPv6, depending on your setup. Click Properties. Now it's time to set the best DNS server for your system. Choose the Use the following DNS server addresses option. But don't just blindly pick. Open command prompt as administrator and run the following two tests. Ping 8.8.8.8 .8 Google DNS Ping 1.1.1.1 Cloudflare DNS Compare the response times. Whichever gives you the lower ping, use that as your preferred DNS. For example, if Cloudflare is faster, enter 1.1.1.1 as the preferred DNS and 8.8.8.8 .8 as the alternate DNS. If Google is quicker, flip them. This ensures you're routing your data through the fastest available DNS, reducing delay and boosting loading times. Go back to Network Connections, right-click on your active adapter and choose Configure. Inside the new window, move to the Power Management tab first and uncheck the box that says, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. This prevents Windows from putting your adapter to sleep, which can cause spikes or disconnections. Then jump to the Advanced tab and carefully adjust the following parameters for peak performance. Adaptive Interframe, Spacing, Disabled, ARP, Offload, Disabled, Energy Efficient, Ethernet, Disabled, Flow Control, Disabled, Gigabit, Master Slave Mode, Auto Negotiation, Interrupt, Moderation, Disabled, Interrupt Moderation, Rate, Off or Low, for faster packet delivery, IPv4 and IPv6, Checksum Offload, Disabled, Jumbo Packet, Disabled, Large, Send Offload, IPv4 and IPv6, Disabled, receive buffers, set to maximum, 1024 or Twin Tower 48, depending on your NIC, packet priority and VLAN. Enabled, speed and duplex, set to auto negotiation, 
or if you're using Ethernet and know your maximum supported speed, set it manually to 1.0 Gbps full duplex. TCP and UDP checksum. Offload disabled. Once you've applied all the changes, click OK. Your network adapter might briefly disconnect and reconnect while applying these tweaks. That's completely normal. With these adjustments in place, your system will prioritize speed and responsiveness, cutting down unnecessary latency and helping you maintain a more stable and lower ping connection, especially crucial for competitive online games or streaming. Now, it's time to take things even further with a powerful and trusted tool used by countless pro players, TCP Optimizer. This utility allows you to fine-tune advanced network parameters that aren't normally accessible through Windows, helping you squeeze out every bit of latency reduction and network stability. To get your hands on this tool, simply head over to my official website, uptopax.com. Once you're there, go to the FPS Boost section. You'll quickly recognize the post by the same title and thumbnail used for this video, so it's easy to locate. Scroll down a little and you'll find a direct download button. Once you've downloaded TCP Optimizer, go ahead and launch the program. On the main screen, the first thing you'll need to do is select your active network adapter from the drop-down list at the top. Next, move the connection speed slider to 100 plus Mbps, or adjust it according to your actual internet plan. Then, select the custom button. This unlocks full control over the advanced optimization settings we're about to apply. Let's start fine-tuning. First, disable window auto-tuning and scaling heuristics. These features are designed for general bandwidth management, but can introduce delays and instability in fast-paced online games. For smoother data flow, change the congestion control provider from Cubic to CTCP, which is better suited for high-speed, low-latency environments. Now move on to disabling RSS, receive side scaling, and RSC, receive segment coalescing, both of which can offload network processing to the CPU unnecessarily, causing performance drops during gaming. Set time to live, TTL, to 64, which helps standardize how long packets stay alive across network hops, leading to more stable routing. Scroll further and turn off checksum offloading, TCP chimney offload, and large send offload, LSO. These settings often attempt to optimize network traffic at the hardware level, but in real-world scenarios, especially in gaming, they can cause spikes or inconsistent behavior. In the Advanced Settings section, set max connections per server to 10, which limits overload from too many simultaneous connections. Set max SYN retransmissions to 2, reducing how long it takes to retry dropped connections and improving overall responsiveness. Then disable the Network Throttling Index, a hidden Windows feature that can restrict performance under certain conditions. Lastly, set system responsiveness to Gaming, which prioritizes real-time applications like games over background tasks. Once everything is configured, click Apply Changes at the bottom. TCP Optimizer will ask to back up your current settings and may prompt you to restart your PC, go ahead and do it. After rebooting, your system will be running with professional-grade network optimizations that reduce ping, prevent lag spikes, and ensure smooth, uninterrupted gameplay. To boost your network performance, open the folder and install each registry tweak by double-clicking and confirming the prompts. These tweaks adjust Windows networking at a deeper level, improving packet handling, reducing latency, and prioritizing gaming traffic. Once all tweaks are applied, restart your PC to activate the changes. Your system will now be optimized for smoother, more responsive online gameplay. All right, guys, now let's find out which apps and services are hogging your bandwidth. This step will help pinpoint what's dragging down your connection. Start by right-clicking the Windows icon on your taskbar and selecting Task Manager. Once it opens, head to the Performance tab on the left, scroll down and click Open Resource Monitor at the bottom for a detailed view of your network activity. Inside Resource Monitor, go to the Network tab. Here, you'll see a full list of apps and processes currently using your internet. Under TCP Connections, you can also track packet activity and latency. Look for anything using bandwidth that you don't need right now. Close those apps to free up your network. In the Network Activity section, you'll see exactly which apps are using the most data. Right-click on any that are eating up too much bandwidth and choose End Process. If it has multiple parts, go for End Process Tree to shut them all down. 
Keep in mind, some system services like svcost.exe can also use bandwidth. While many are essential, a few might be contributing to lag. Do a bit of research before disabling them to avoid breaking anything important. Disabling sysmain can help reduce ping and input delay, especially on low-end systems. While it's designed to improve performance by preloading frequently used apps, it can cause background activity that impacts network stability. Turning it off frees up system resources and may lead to more stable latency during gaming. To disable it, open the Windows search bar, type Services, and hit Enter. In the window that opens, scroll through the list and locate Sysmain. This service works by preloading frequently used applications into memory to speed up launch times. However, on systems with limited resources, it can consume valuable CPU, RAM, and even network bandwidth, which can introduce performance hitches or delays during online gameplay. Double-click on Sysmain to open its properties window. If the startup type is set to automatic, change it to Disabled from the drop-down menu. Then click the Stop button under the Service Status section to halt the service immediately. Once that's done, click Apply and then OK to save your changes and exit the window. By disabling Sysmain, you're effectively reducing unnecessary background tasks that can compete with real-time processes for system and network resources. This can help prioritize important activities like gaming or streaming, freeing up bandwidth and processing power, and resulting in a more stable and lower latency network experience especially useful if you're playing on a budget or entry-level machine. And that's a wrap, guys. With these advanced network tweaks, you should notice reduced ping, quicker response times, and a smoother overall gaming experience. If this guide helped you out, don't forget to hit that like button and drop a comment below sharing your results.